Well, well, well. Listening to uh, Shane Beamer and Josh Pate this morning. Shane Beamer basically told all you Doogie Hauser couch doctors to sit down. All y'all that think the training staff should be fired because of injuries. Uh, if y'all didn't catch it, let me fill you in on it. They go through each individual injury. Look at the reports. Look at the training methods. Does any of that stuff affect the injury? Uh, is there something they need to change or do in their training methods? With the head of training, Luke Day. Everyone wants Luke Day fired. The things that go on behind the scenes that we don't understand as fans, right? But we know it all. Yes. Fire everyone. Everyone should win championships tomorrow in this business. Everyone should never get hurt playing football because you just, as an offensive lineman, you should never get rolled up on. You should never take knee injuries. It's amazing how that even happens in the NFL. How you see all these offensive linemen get banged up in knee injuries, uh, even at the level of the NFL. You would think the NFL, with all the millions of dollars they have invested in these players, they'd have the best trainers, best equipment to prevent injury, uh, have learned through the uh, years and years and years of uh, the development in football and the new equipment that's come out, how to prevent injuries. Uh, I guess you just need to dress them up like, uh, I don't know, back in the day when uh, the Knights wore all the big steel, uh, heavy iron and steel uh, outfits and stuff. That way you don't get hit or hurt anyway. Try to run with uh, 70 pound, extra 70 pounds of weight on you. Um, but it's interesting because I do listen to other thing about injuries, right? Uh, talking about, you know, even in the fitness industry, that I've listened to a lot of stuff lately trying to learn some things uh, how those guys, even the bodybuilders themselves, get injured by trying to go too heavy or wear and tear on your joints over time uh, now think about these these kids these all, especially these offensive line kids they're 6'5", six, 6'6", six, six, 300 plus pounds uh, what's going to give first? your muscles uh, uh what, are, what gets injured first? It's your ligaments, your joints. Uh, you're toting a load every day of 300 plus pounds and you're six foot six on a set of knees. And you can do all kinds of things to strengthen muscle. You can build muscle, you can work out, you can eat right. You can do all the things you need to do to be stronger. You can do all the things you need to do to try to get faster. The one thing you can't do is build joints. Um, you can maintain joints. You can take things that help your joints. Uh, but honestly, if you get hit the wrong way or you, hell, I've, I've injured my back getting up out of a, a chair before. Uh, just spun wrong in the chair, office chair and went to stand up and pinched a nerve in there. It basically took me down to my knees and I couldn't breathe. I don't know if any, anyone's ever experienced that. But there is preventable injuries there's non-preventable injuries if you play a sport like football and sometimes in basketball you see the same thing with all the technology through the years in basketball you still see kids getting injured um, and it's not even a contact sport you see kids blow out knees you see kids pull hamstrings uh, sometimes it's in your warm-up and then you're stretching but sometimes something just gives and you really you don't have a sign wear and tear on something Especially you're talking kids that are out here running around uh, 90, 100 degree weather. Uh, making sure you stay hydrated correctly. Uh, keep your electrolytes in. Make sure you're getting enough uh, salt intake. There's many, many things you can do to try to help prevent it. But ultimately in a sport like football, you're not going to prevent injuries. You just It's going to happen. Now... Was it a kind of weird thing that our a lot of our offensive linemen got hurt last year? Yeah, but sometimes shit just happens, man. Um, we've gone through years where it's running backs. Where we just struggle to keep running backs on the field because the running backs get hurt. You get dinged up. Uh, the focus of these kids aren't the same focus as you. Uh, especially if you're a really good football player uh, and you think you have a future in the NFL. 
injuries, you're going to shut down, dude. That's your million do millions of dollars sitting there uh, is in your body. So you're going to shut her down if you get injured. It's no different than any athlete that's out there. You tweak a hamstring, if you're a runner, you're going to shut down running until you're healed. Hamstrings are one of the hardest things you can ever heal. It is, your hamstrings are basically in everything you do. Your legs, any knee injuries, any type of injury to your, your legs, it's going to be anything you do. If you pop a bicep or strain a bicep, you can still train the other side, right? You can still do leg workouts. You can do whatever you need to do to kind of keep yourself in a uh, some type of shape, except train that bicep. May have to go in and have surgery done on a bicep. A lot of people's had to had to do that. It happens, man. Uh, you're putting a lot of strain on your body. And, and if I don't know, people that played sports understand this. I mean, hell, I played with a dislocated shoulder one time and got clipped in practice, and it's probably one of the most painful things I've ever been through in my life. I could not breathe. Uh, my stupidity got my my shoulder injured by wanting to jump out of a car window and get in a fight as a damn teenager. It was my ignorance that caused the injury. And, and that happens a lot. You can only train people so much. You can only teach people the right way to do things, the right way to feed yourself, the right way to hydrate yourself. But you can't stand behind them 24 hours a day to make sure they're doing what they're supposed to do. Uh, it's just like being a manager in a business. You have to depend on the people that work for you to do their job. You can't micromanage every individual and make sure they do what they're supposed to do 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You would never ever have a life if you do that. And you're probably not gonna have a lot of people that work for you or play football for you or do anything in life because the one thing, in, most people do not like being micromanaged. Unless they just don't care. Like some people just don't care. They just do a crappy job. They have no pride in what they do and they just do a crappy job. It, it, you can't, then that means you need to go find somebody else, right? Is Luke Day doing a crappy job at South Carolina? Uh, you don't see a lot of injuries in, on our defense. A little bang up here or there, or shoulder or something like that. Um, it's mainly it was the offensive lineman. Had a lot to do with some knees in their lower extremities. Like I said, these kids are six, anywhere from 6'4", six, 6'5", six, 6'6", six, 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 especially these guys. Uh, you know, look at your defensive tackles that are out there on the wing, and they're having to turn their bodies and try to set their legs and their feet uh, to take on a smaller, faster defensive end that's trying to come around the corner or trying to put a swim move on you or trying to put a spin move on you and you're having to try to readjust your body and at the same time you got other guys rolling around and falling on the ground all behind you uh, rolling into the back of your legs. Injuries are going to happen. It's a part of football. It's just going to happen. It can't be an excuse why you win or lose football games. Uh, there's only many, so many ways you can train your body. I can promise you that. And you can train it wrong. You can lift wrong. If you're trying to build muscle, you're not trying to lift on top of your joints. You isolate the muscles. You, you lift it. If you want to lift heavy, lift heavy. That's great. More fabulous. Get stronger. Get bigger. Get faster. Just remember, as you do that, that's more wear and tear on your body. You may look better, you may have more muscle, but your joints are getting punished, especially if you do it wrong. So, just every all you uh, uh, Gray's Anatomy watchers and Doogie Housers and the Good Doctor and all y'all TV doctors that want to stand on the sideline and, and think y'all understand this type of stuff. Uh, well, I know this. Well, you don't know. You're not in it every day. You don't know, you're not there with the kids, you're not looking at the injury reports, you're not looking at the x-rays, uh, you're not sitting there looking at patterns. Uh, is it the same injury? Did someone, uh, you don't know. Just because you have an, a knee injury doesn't mean it's the same knee injury. Uh, you could tear MCLs, ACLs, uh, all that stuff is different. And, and it's all in how you could just be a wrong move could plant your foot wrong, uh, have a guy hit you on the side of the knee that pushes your knee in. You could have a guy that rolls up on the back of your leg. Uh, it, it happens, man. You see world-class sprinters pull hamstrings, and they run every day. Every day they 
and they can still, they stretch, they know how to do all that stuff, and they still pop a hamstring. It, it, it happens. It, it just, I don't know. I, I, I'm i not a head coach of a football team. I don't do what Shane Beamer or Kirby Smart or any of these guys have to go through in a day. I don't know what their schedule is. I'm sure they're up early in the mornings. Their day's probably planned ahead of time because you don't know what they're going to run into, especially this time of year. You have practices, but you're still trying to you got to be a politician. You got to shake hands, kiss the babies, uh, kiss some ass to get some money somewhere. Um, you know, everyone has a has an opinion on NIL and what it should be, and this, that, and the other. But if someone tried to restrict you on making money off of your name, it's not the, the kids ain't the problem. It's the adults. The adults that are out there that are willing to put that money into these kids and invest that money, there's your problem. You're trying to solve the problem from the wrong side. Going at the kids for wanting to make more money, you're never going to get anywhere with that type of argument. Ever, 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 ever going to get anywhere with the argument against a kid or a younger person wanting to make money off of their name their image and their likeness i want to do it everyone that gets on youtube it develops a channel is trying to make money off of their name their image their likeness their videos they want people to like them so they subscribe so they hit that thumbs up you want to come up with with materials that make people want to come back to your channel and listen to you whether that's being an asshole whether that's being a good guy whether that's being somewhere in between individual personality uh, people subscribe to your channel because they like you because they like your content because maybe you make them laugh maybe you're funny maybe you're more serious side of things and, and you're a fact person and you just want to put facts out there this is what it but then most time in fact people you have an opinion on, on whatever it is like we all fucking have opinions right we all have assholes we've heard that statement forever um Unfortunately, most things out there these days are opinion. They're not fact-based because the things that people talk about, they don't know about. You really don't know. You're not in the room. You don't know. And most people don't take the time to try to educate themselves to understand either. I want to know one person out there that's not been on a coaching staff at a major football university. They can sit there and tell you what a day is like for a coach in college football. I want someone to tell me that they know what the schedule is for a head football coach at a power file school, at a major university, in a major conference. You can go anywhere you want. You can talk to them. They know, the only thing they know is what a coach tells them, and we all know what coaches tell us, right? Same old coach speak. Boxed answers. They're never going to tell you legit stuff. I, I, I sit here and listen to these guys interview the kids. Uh, the players and stuff since spring practice started. You get a box dance. A kid's going to tell you exactly what the coach tells you because that's all the kids know. That's what he's taught to say. You listen to a kid talk, and he talks just like his coach. And he's going to tell you the same things that the coaches tell you. He sounds like a coach when he talks to you because that's the way they're told. You can answer these type of questions. These are these kids are taught, to, taught how to answer questions and what not to answer. Coaches are taught that. You listen to Dow Loggins last week, and he said the same thing when he let the Mike Shula being on the staff now out of the box. Well, I guess I let this slip. It should have been the Be Shane Beamer's. Uh, I should have let him announce that. He let it slip. But that also don't happen very often, right? But Dow Loggins is that kind of personality that he just talks. And when he's talking, he's talking the game, and he's talking everything. And he actually said the name. And then everybody was kind of surprised by it. Uh, to me, Mike Shula, yeah, he wasn't a successful head coach, but he is a good coach. Um, welcome the guy to the staff. Uh, hopefully, all I can say is what I see is improvement, right? Shane Beamer's kind of going through his first staff, and some guys are gone. Uh, he's brought in some guys. We don't know what this team's going to look like this year. I mean, we all think with the schedules, are they not going to be very good with a young quarterback? Lucky to win four wins. We don't know that, though. We're not in there. 
this team could come out and surprise a lot of people. There's a lot of different uh, pieces to this puzzle this year that we didn't see. Now, does there have to be drastic improvement for that to happen? Yes. Can there be? Is the potential there with the running back room? Uh, you know, we've heard some great things about wide receivers, and these guys are quick, fast, catch passes, break tackles, can run for touchdowns. Uh, how does that result on the field? We won't know until August. We do. We won't know. Because everything you're going to be told that comes out of spring practice, that comes out of uh, fall practice, before the season starts, it's all going to be boxed. It's a chess game, baby. Ain't nobody telling you nothing in this business that may give you an edge against them. Nobody. Well, that's why corporations have all this different uh, global protects and, and system protections, and you can't... Uh, limited on photos, don't share on social media, even the company I work for, you can, don't share nothing on social media because the competition is out there watching. Now, I'm, in my personal mind, like, hell, I don't know anybody that works for any other company that's in the same business I am that I'm aware of, and they don't know me, why would they be watching my social media? It's not the way companies think, though, but they will, that's not just towards me, that's towards everybody that works for this company. So, of course, you're not going to get any straight answers out of coaches. I don't care. I don't care how many interviews, how many questions you ask. What, do you think they're telling you everything? Do you think they're just going to come out there as an open book and tell you everything that's going on? They don't. They ain't going to. Ain't never going to happen. So you can sit wherever you want to. You can read whatever you want to. You can listen to whatever you want to. It's all opinion. You don't know. Until you sit in that chair and you have to do it, you don't know. You can just give your opinion on it. And that's for us to talk for today. Anyway, I'm going to make sure I don't injure my knees today. I'm going to call up Luke Day! One last thing. Fuck the taters. Fuck the gators. Fuck the haters. <coughs> this is my life. Gangnam for life.